I did uh I did find something interesting the other day though. What'd you find? A book he put in his under chest since you know we're sharing the same body. Bot you can access it. Awful, but yeah, I can. So wait, wait, wait. How did how did you get him? How did you get what an you actual mean? target? Like, how did you grab a, a body that isn't even yours? It's a little hard to explain. Did, if he's your descendant... For me, I had to incinerate my own body, so there was no flesh, and then grow new flesh with the aid of a computer, put it over this little frame, and boom. In fact, there's still a bit of a scar on the skull. Yeah, I, uh... I don't know if this is going to be a permanent thing. I'm hoping it is. <laughs> but I, I messed up the reincarnation chain a little bit. Hmm. Well... Uh, I'm, I'm basically, the best way I can describe it is I'm basically a ghost, and it's like a possession-type scenario. I guess, but why would you want it to stay this way forever? Don't you want your own thing? I do, and I have my own plans for that. Well, what are those plans? I don't know if you need to know that yet. Well, I could assist. Again. I think I out of my way. Mm. Alright. So, if you want, I could take that book and see what I could find. I could combine it with the information that I know and maybe draw some conclusions. How about this? Do your job now, figure out what you're doing, and then maybe Maybe I'll give you the book for a little bit of a heads up if you need it. It's more important to me than it'll be to you. What about those two? I have my own plans for them. If they know that I'm working with you, then uh, I'm screwed. Well, that doesn't really matter to me. I have another ally. Well, I know you do, but again, I know some stuff, and you know what? You don't quite know the stuff that I know. Not just about the survivors or your acts, but a few other things. All I'm saying is losing you wouldn't be too much of a loss for me. I suppose not. You better hope you're good at what I need you to do. Well, I mean, I'm good at talking to people. But then again, you never gave me a chance, so uh, I couldn't really show that skill to you. Okay, I gave you all the chance you needed. You bonked me in the head, and then I died. Well, it, you knocked me yeah, out, you drowned me, and then... Going to trap me down there. I wasn't going to let you live. I'm not stupid. I was going to trap you so we could have a little conversation. I don't think you wanted to have a little conversation. What, you think I was going to murder you? Do you really think I was going to try and kill you? Why would I think anything else? Because you I had little noodle arms back then. I couldn't hit you. You were like, hey, yeah, let's come to dinner. And then you proceeded... To almost trap me down there. So, what else was I supposed to believe? So it no was... one else could interfere with our conversation. I I don't have you. You said it yourself. I wasn't that strong back then. That would basically just be suicide. And I guess it was. So there, you have your answer. I I still don't. Give me a good reason why I should trust you. Why I should ally with you in any sense of that word. Because I still remember a lot of the stuff, and believe me, I could have alerted the other founders before talking to you. You do realize that, right? Not all of them were dead before that time. Yeah, I'm aware, because one of them killed me. Then I could have alerted them. 
I could have told everyone else who was alive. Actually, okay, that wouldn't have made much of a difference because you died anyway. Okay, so you know what? My argument skills aren't that great, but my talking skills are, I swear. I hate that I'm saying this, but I'm giving you a chance. Yay. Just, just don't bonk, just don't bonk me again, man. Jeez. Yeah, no promises. Well, bonking, like the bonking wasn't the problem. The problem was you didn't even, like, y y you just dipped. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't have been so angry if, like, you just bonked me and you stayed there. Then you, you, No, you, you drowned me. You, you didn't even, you didn't even... Even, like, well, what else was I supposed to do? You, I thought you were trying to kill me. Well, I mean, like, you could have just, like, held me captive or something, and you could have asked about that. But no, straight to the murder. Got it. So, Like I said here, I'm not... I tend to rush into things. I just do things, get them done, and when you're me, that works out. Well, I mean, it's worked out so far, but <laughs> now you're in a position where everyone knows what you did. So you have to be a bit more careful. I wouldn't say everyone knows. Well, most people know. A lot of people don't even know I existed. Like I said, history is told by the winners, and I wasn't one, so... Well, there aren't really any winners left. There are a few, but... And I don't consider myself a winner. Yeah, looking at you now, I'd say you definitely weren't. Well, I consider myself more neutral than anything. But... Did you bonk me? I have a concept of even having to talk to you. You bonked me. And? You said you... You said... What? I thought you wouldn't. Look at my hand. I could have done something worse. You're lucky. Oh, well, okay. I guess if it's the TNT blast. I'll go talk to the others then. I'm letting you know now. You say anything, and I find out that is not only not going to be good on your part, but on yours. Oh, I wouldn't say it would be bad on my part. If anything, people finding out about my existence would probably be worse on me, not me. Having no one who trusts him would actually put me in a better position. So then, why don't we do that? Actually, all right, here's the plan. Game plan, game plan. Inform everyone about you. We have to stage something. That's the idea. Stage the death of someone else. Blame it on Mace. Have it so he trusts no one. Make him turn to me. Oh, I already have a plan in place <laughs> for something very similar. I've been thinking about it for a while. Hmm. There's, a... <laughs> There's someone that he's shown a lot of interest in. Oh. And I think uh think there's a way that I can use that to my advantage. I have a I have a whole plan set out for that. Mm. It's fantastic. If it's what you're thinking or if you're thinking what I'm thinking then uh that's pretty clever, but I imagine that there's going to be a lot of people at the ceremony. Or will it not be that that time? Oh, it will. It will. I'm not sure if uh I'm not sure if <laughs> if he knows yet that there's even going to be a ceremony, but I do. And I, I, I can see the way that he looks at them. I, I know what's going to happen. I heard through hearsay. So, an assassination? Pretty much. And you're going to do it yourself, better... I'm assuming. Well, yeah, of course, of course I am. I mean... What other way to, would there be for me to frame him for something that I did? If it looks like him doing it, then great. It's true. Though I did provide you with cover for something else a little while ago. That you did. That you did. You can murder anyone of your choice and say that it was the person who put you up to framing me. Hmm. That might work. I gotta think about that. Alright. So. 
How do we know that these two don't know anything? Because maybe they're not as stupid as I am, and maybe they do. And they just haven't admitted it. It's not stupid. You're back the same way I am. And if you did anything remotely like what you described to me, because I have a pretty decent picture in my head of how this happened, then I can promise you that you're not dumb. You're nowhere near it. Neither am I. You, If anything, if you have those memories, then you should know that. Yeah. And that it would be the only way that we would function as having any sort of alliance. So you're allying, you're allying with someone else. I am. Do they have Do they have a connection? I'm not sure yet. Well, what do we know about them? I don't know anything about any sort of connection they would have to a founder, but what I do know is they have very, very few alliances. Right. And very few people trust more than me. That's exceptional. All right. They also have a bit of a mutual benefit going on where they, uh, basically whatever I do, there is a benefit in it for them in the form of anything that I destroy, anything that I take, they get a piece of the profit. Hmm. Now, if only I got that sort of benefit, that'd be fun. Well, yeah, you don't get that privilege because you tried to trap me. Oh boy, this again. You know, I mean, that was just to have a conversation, but... I I really don't believe that, and you, you've got to understand why I don't believe you were just trying yeah, to have it. Yeah, I get it, you know? I get it, but I didn't I didn't know completely. I It was only a theory that you were the person doing it. Didn't know. You know. I hate... So do I. But hey, at least, you know, I don't have to die because, yeah, right? <laughs> you, don't, you don't have to die. Are you... <laughs> oh, wow. Are you listening to yourself? You know you're talking to me, right? I'm not guaranteeing your safety in this. You just owe me. Yeah, I know. But the fact of the matter is, there isn't much of any way that we could potentially not work together in the future from now on, right? We both we'll have what we know. We both know about everything, so... In fact, I dare say I even know more than you in certain subjects. Out of everyone that could have come back, why did it happen? Why did it have to be you? Because I had the foresight that they didn't. You know, I mean, they just sort of saw people dying and were like, oh no, anyway. I saw people dying and I was like, hey, that's a little weird. Maybe I should make some backups. Ugh, God. Did you have to come back? Why, why couldn't it have not worked? You know, ugh, God. Like, sure, great, you have knowledge, great, fantastic. Why did it have to be you, though? It could have been anyone else. If it was anyone else, they were all against you, you know. Yes, I'm aware, but then I could have just dealt with them. With you, I... I can't. Exactly. I don't see the problem in that. Yeah, of course you don't. Well, there is no problem in it, then. The fact that you can't deal with me is, well, if anything, that's good. Great, even. Which means that I can do what I always wanted to do. And what is that? Go help some turtles. You do realize that that's the whole reason that I built that over there. To do. I literally built an aquarium. I don't care. I really don't care. I, I just I just want to go have some turtles and fish. Mace M M Mace even gave me some fish. He gave of me fish. Of course, because he's just. Ugh. He's cool. He gave me fish and stuff. I, 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 I like you fish. Coming out of your mouth right now, right? Yes, I you do. You just said, cool. Are you kidding me? Well, I mean, yeah, he's cool. He gave me fish. Don't you like fish? They're cool. They swim around. Buddy, he's gonna be dead soon. 
Yes, but... Alright, I need to speak with you about something. I might have opened a window for you. I just remembered. You see that building in the distance? I completely forgot to bring this up, but I opened a window for you. And how's that? Follow I'm me. Assuming... This is good news for you. And potentially for so? me. If it's good news for you, I really don't want anything to do with it. Thank you. Well, it's very good news for you. So. You'll, How so? You'll see when we get there. I mean. What is it? It's, it's, it's something, and I want to surprise you with it. So I can be a cool friend. I'm a toddler. You don't need to be like, oh, I'm just a surprise. Okay, fine. I assassinated the president so you can go run for president. There, you happy? Yeah. I murdered the president. And? You now have an option to go for office. Look. Oh my god. You have no idea. Yeah. What? Wow. Why couldn't you have told me this earlier? Because, I mean, I didn't know. Listen, if I knew that you were loyal to President Mushroom, then I would not have told you. But look, he's freaking dead. <laughs> they murdered him. Yeah, I actually, uh, I, have, I still have his leather. But yeah, he's dead. So, you now have the chance to uh, seize power here. So, good luck with that. I believe in you. Um, It's just shut up with all the motivational... God... Oh, you're so annoying. Well, yes, that's sort of what, the whole point of me. I That's what I did. I'm sort of annoying. But yes. Uh, now, if you were to give me a lucrative spot as a vice president or senior counsel for the town... No! Why would I... Because... Why, why, would, why would I give you any sort of authority? Of all people, why would I give you any authority? Well, maybe because I did this. You know, it's... I did this. Murdered the president, whatever. Shot him in the face. I would give you any sort of position of authority is if, let's say, let's say you ran. Would you do the same for me? Yeah. It's a deal then. So, we've rigged the election. Great. Yeah. Alright, that's cool. So, no matter what, uh, I guess we're we're going to be running the town then. That's cool. Well, I mean, unless anyone else decides to run, but that still gives us a really good, good chance. Yeah, but there's always... Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait. What? Remember when I said I gave you cover for a crime? If anyone else yeah. runs, we could just say that they were the ones to destroy the coop or whatever. We have that evidence. And you'd back me up for that? I would. So it's done. Alright. You're welcome. I'm not thanking you for anything, okay? I, I'm still mad that you literally tried to trap me and possibly had intentions of killing me. Listen, I'm more of a pacifist. Thank you very much. That's the whole reason why I didn't report you to anyone. Because, if you know, if you died and if that happened, that would have been a whole issue. That would have not been something I wanted to deal with. <sighs> I'm wondering... wondering someone what? I had a... Someone I had a chat with. Who? No. back. Uh, first person who knew that I was here, and, you know, that was this guy, Creeper. I don't know his current place of residence, but hmm. I might want to have a chat with him. Well, we could look. I mean, there's not much place that this town is civilized enough to live in, so we can always look. I mean... Would you happen to know his current place of residence, or... Wait a minute. Or not? I think I overheard something about Mace and him. Hold on. I believe that Mace... 
might be moving somewhere near him. Well, yeah, I gathered that much because every time I go to the shack where he lives, all of a sudden there's nothing there anymore. Every like everything's gone. So I had a feeling that he was somewhere else. I just don't know where he is. Well, simply put, I think I think I was by his house at one point. Hold on. I think I don't know where exactly, but I know that it was I think it's up here. There was something going on with it the last time I remember. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There is some weird junk going on. Uh, I don't know if that's toxic to you. Oh, yeah, right. So what do you have to do with the weird, like, cancerous growths on the wall of the uh, of the valley thing? Do, do you have something to do with that? That sort of pops up in places that, I, that I'm in frequently. Well, then, I think we found the exact opposite of that here. Yeah, this is going to be a little bit of a problem. Do you know what that is? Uh, no, I don't. It's sort of like a protection barrier. I can't cross that. I can. Hmm. Nothing's stopping me. I can go in, go grab something, and, you know, do that. But maybe we can even uh, do something about it, huh? You need any, you need anything from in there? Or <sighs> at the moment, it's just good that I know where he is. The only thing that sucks is I can't get to him while he's. Hmm. There's no way you could cross that. No. Hmm. What's over there? There's another house. I'm not interested with that. Hmm. I haven't actually been here in some time. Let me actually go rummage through, see if I can find anything of interest. Just tell me if you want me to grab anything, or if you need any updates on the inside. Hmm. Mace made him a cake. How kind of him. Yeah, of course he did. Like I mentioned, he's a complete wimp. Complete wimp. Hmm. He has some TNT, some saddles. He's... Hmm. Wait, so, hold on. You mentioned that this was Creeper's current place of residence. From what I believe, yes. But I don't see the basement he mentioned. Hmm. Oh. Huh. I... You know, he seemed like he sided with me when it came to that. Well, then, why is this protective barrier here? That's what I'm thinking. Maybe he's afraid of you? I don't necessarily think afraid. He didn't seem like the type to really be like that. I'm just... Hmm. I feel like maybe he wants to keep me out for some reason that I don't know why he would want that. Hmm. Wait, if you... Alright, so... Alright, I have a bit of an idea. So there might be something in there significant to you, but say that you were somehow able to cross that barrier. Could you exist within the confines of it? Probably. Okay. New idea. You let Mace take control, I lead Mace into there, then you reacquire control. Done and done. It's, it's not that easy. Hmm. Here's, here's, how, here's how it works, right? Because my situation is a little complicated. It's... When I'm not possessed or in control of the body, it's like I'm blind. I can only see places that I've been or things that I've made. And that's how I know where the axe is. I don't know, like, the area that it's in, because apparently I've never been there. But I can see it. I have, like, I, I can't go places I haven't been. I can't see places I haven't been. I haven't been over there. So is it possible that I could use the axe as a signaling cue? 
I wonder if you had something that belonged to me, if you'd be able to bring it in and I'd be able to go for it. Well, let me think. Um, I don't have anything left from that dinner, but did you leave anything at the old water base? I don't remember. It was a really long time ago. I... Plus, you blame me for wanting to block most of that out. Yeah, I can't blame you, because, you know, I mean, the bonking must have been unpleasant. No, it really wasn't. Well, I mean, yeah, I guess it wasn't. I do. Just, you know, it wasn't that fun to, you know, clean off everything, but I guess. Um, is there anything else that is significant to you? That you, might, that you have in your possession? Things that are significant to me. To be honest, it would probably have to be the axe, considering it would have to be something that I have a very strong connection to to be able to anchor myself there. Okay. You know the general it, area, right? Kind of. I know it's underground. I don't know where underground. It's just, it's down somewhere, and I would have to be not in control of the body to be able to see where it is. Do you think Mace knows anything? I don't know. He seems really stupid, which is good, but also really bad, because he's just... Ugh. You'd think that Someone who was a reincarnation would, of me would be smarter, but... Again, I use Wait. this vessel as a stupid person to sort of mask my current carnation, but you used Mace as a shield, and you're smart, so maybe Mace is using Mace as a shield, and he's smart. I don't know. I... I see, from what I know, it seems like she doesn't know what's going on. He... Hmm. Wait. I'm gonna need you to find that basement for me. Hmm. Alright. Maybe, you, you said you didn't see anything on the inside. Try wandering around the outside and see if you can find a sort of entrance on the outside in the shield. I'll look. I'm seeing something that goes down. Little staircase. Ah! A storage room. I'll look through it real quick. Just to make sure there's nothing too great. Anything in there. Anything at all. There's a bed. To... Uh, there's, Besides... there's a crafting table, bed, some... It's absolutely laced in this protective stuff, but that's probably on purpose. Other than that, I can't see anything. Is there... Are there... You said there was, like, a storage place. Are there anything in the chest? That's really important. There's nothing in the chest as far as I could say. But there is more if I go down the staircase. There's... Oh god! There's so many there's so many cows, dear lord. How that's probably a How are they even that's alive? That is that's actually cruel. What's what's important to me is the fact that you said there's nothing in the chest, yet it's been stated that this may be Mason's current place of residence. Which means he's not living here because I I've been in the shack. I I know what he has. And now it's empty, so where would all of that stuff have gone? Hmm. Are you sure there isn't any secret compartment in the shack? I'm 100% sure I've combed that place over a million times. Well, maybe that's just a storage room for the farm. I'll keep looking. I hope we could find something. I don't want to not find something. It's just... I'm, I'm just... I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. Because he... He seems so just stupid, you know? He's just- No stupid. one- Alright, Malachi, listen to me. No one can be that stupid. No one. I'm wondering if he's almost not letting on to something. Like, he knows more than he's implying. That's what I think. For me, it was easy because I knew that you were after a bit, but... Hmm... Maybe if we search around the property. I don't think there's anything else for us here. Martin. Martin. Okay. Okay. That's fair. Hmm. What the heck is this place? Mine? I what it used to be. Well, what House did it used to be? Hmm. 
Hmm. They're interesting to work with. Wait. They don't. Uh, question. What's the story behind the hotel? I know. Listen, businessman at heart. Uh, let me think. Plus, I mean, it does make it a little easier for me to get a large amount of people in one place. Right. So, I'm assuming the reception will probably be held at the hotel? For the wedding? No. I, I have a... It won't. I have a plan in place. Because Mace, he, he's dumb, but he's not that dumb. He refuses to go anywhere that I've been. I think he's figured that out. So, so what if we force him to somewhere you've been? I, I, I have a plan in place for the wedding. Alright. Is there anything of significance to you from the hotel? No. Wait a minute. What? What... What are the limits of your objects of significance? It depends on what I'm using them for. Uh, in my mind, if I'm anchoring myself in a place that is literally built to kick me out as soon as I step into it, I'm going to need something that I have a very, very strong attachment to. Very strong. So a corpse wouldn't work. Are you implying using my corpse? No, no, no. We don't know where your corpse is, remember? Well, I don't. Well, I do that. I died in a cave. What if it's the corpse of someone you killed? Probably not. Probably not? No. Right. Hmm. I wonder if you could actually harness this to somehow... I don't know, nullify some effects of that protective stuff. Let's Maybe. I'd, I'd have to spend a little more time around there. Oh, these were gifts that people gave him. He, he's not coming back for him, so take whatever you want. Mm. Oh, the chests are gone! This wasn't even like this last time I was here. Well, things have changed. Even I know that. I, I don't want to ally with you, but in the case that I would have to, uh, how willing would you be to form an alliance? Oh, very willing. So, how far does this place extend? Do we really even know what's... or how far people have built things? There are places I can go that reach thousands of blocks away. <laughs> I did notice something. Hmm? I went to the nether once to mine some stuff up, and there was a path that wasn't marked. Hmm. I don't quite have any idea of how far people could have built anything, but I do know that some stuff does have a lot of ties to you. It's a lot of remnants. Like I said, there's a lot of places I can go. Just an equal amount of places you can't. Yeah. So, so you can't go anywhere that you haven't been. Yeah, well, when I'm possessing someone, I can go anywhere. But when I can't do anything by myself, which sucks, because, you know, great, I have to rely on this guy. So wait, I, I don't think you can be by yourself, though. I mean, isn't that all you have? Like, Pretty you're... much. Like I said, it's like a possession-type scenario, so... It's sort of like my soul just hangs around when mm -hmm. I'm not possessing him. It's weird. I... And it's annoying, because great, right? Nothing ever works out the way I want it to. That's understandable, I guess. But hey, that's why I used computers. I'll give you credit for that. That was smart. Thanks. Computers are a lot more reliable. But that's just my opinion, I guess.
So, this is Mace's vault? Technically, it's mine. I'm just using that as sort of an alibi to get people to trust me more. Because you don't, you know, like I said, I'm not stupid. You don't go up to someone and go, Hey, I'm the ghost of some guy that died a really long time ago possessing your friend, trying to get you to whatever I want at that point. Yeah, especially considering what you did back then, right? I still don't think I was in the wrong. Well, I don't think you were either. It's just, you know, you could have talked to them about it or done anything, I, but... I, to the, are you, you're hearing... You, you can't be hearing yourself right now. I could have talked to them? You think I didn't try? Well, again, I was underground for most of it. I didn't really hear anything. I tried so hard to get us all on the same page, and you want to know what happened? What? No one cared. No one believed me. No one wanted to listen to what I had to say. So well, what I did was for the betterment of society as a whole. Well, what was it that you guys didn't agree on? Pretty much everything. In my mind, you know, and I, you, you should know this, in my mind, we should have just had either one person in charge of everything, right. or we should have all been able to see eye to eye. We weren't able to see eye to eye, so I figured, screw it, I'll be the last person, because all of them suck anyway. That's true. Well, I, it's not like I really disagree, so I mean, you have a point. Exactly. I wasn't in the wrong, and everyone always paints me as the bad guy. I'm not the bad guy. I did the right thing. I suppose so. It was a failing system. It was. It really was. And it needed It needed something to ground it. And I was going to be that thing. And then everyone got in my way. Yeah. I mean, I guess you could say that people could disagree with the whole murder thing. But I get where you come from. You know, I mean... The place was better off without them around. Well, they did build a lot of things that we still take for granted today. You know? I really don't care about the stuff they made. It was better not having them around. Yeah. I guess you have a point, but... I don't know. Something about it just feels off. I guess maybe it's just the fact that I still am technically part of their group or whatever. That bothers me a bit, but not too much. Listen, if I hear you ever in any way, in any sense of it, siding with them, we are going to have a very big problem. I'm aware. I don't really agree with them either. I don't really agree with your methods, but I don't agree with their ideas, so I'm more or less just there. But hey, if you can guarantee me a peaceful life, which, well, you seem to be the controlling power here, so if you can guarantee me a peaceful life, then I... I have no reason not to work with you. I've said it a thousand times. Not guaranteed, I know. Not guaranteed. But I can at least hope. Because, hey, if I were to go with them, there's really no guarantee either. Exactly. And I'm the better bet, so. Well, I mean, yeah, you do have a lot more strength than they do at the moment. Though, what does concern me is if the person who kills you comes back. If they realize that you're still here, they may come back. That concerns me. Well, I know who their reincarnation is. So, I'm just gotta keep an eye on them. I guess so. I heard last time that, well, from what I know, they decided not to live here. They just ran. But I don't know. I really don't. I suppose we don't have any way to combat them if they do successfully return, do we? I'll just start doing what I did before, because I was effective enough. Yeah, but then you died. Yeah, my issue was I got caught off guard. Yeah, but... I don't know. Just hoping that this ends up for the better, I suppose. And who knows? Yeah. You know, I mean, maybe you can make it better and make everyone be happier at the end of the day, but till then, we... 
It was kind Listen, of if we had reached a compromise then, it would have happened, but it didn't. So I, I've got the same plan now. Yeah. Just as long as that doesn't involve, you know, too many people dying. I wouldn't say it involved too many people before, just the people who needed to. Well, I was about to argue that I didn't need to, but then again, I do understand why you did. Since exactly. I tried to have a little conversation, tried to seal the door, so... Oh, okay. I'll take that as a note to shut up about that. Yeah. Hmm. Who built this place? I did, a while back. Who is this? My current ally. This is your ally? Yeah. Just get your job done, that's all I care about. I suppose that makes sense, but, you know, just in case I have to take any future jobs, then who knows. Hopefully nothing as dangerous as this, though. Alright, I'm gonna leave you to that. Just just get it done and get back to me. You know where to find me. Alright, see you then. Alright.